Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Pastor Lee, and I just want to say hello to the Eagles Nest Church family and all of my social media friends. Like you, I'm sitting here at home with cabin fever. Uh, I wish I could be out mingling with people, but we have to do the right thing. And um, I, I hope you're doing OK. And I just want to drop four things on you right now, things I've been thinking about that we need to focus on during this coronavirus pandemic. These four things are our faith, our family, our fitness and our finances. Let's talk about the first one. We have to focus on our faith. You see, faith is just like a muscle. The only way our muscles grow is we have to um, do some resistance training, like lifting weights. Our faith is the same way. It's easy to say you have faith when everything is smooth, when you don't have any problems. But it is when you experience adversity, it's when you really grow your faith. So I'm saying during this time right now, we have to grow our faith. The Bible says that we walk by faith and not by sight. So I know you don't know what's going to happen next week or two weeks from now or a month from now, but that's why we have faith. So focus on your faith. Number two, focus on your family, the people that you love, especially your elderly family members and, and your children who are at home with you right now. Take advantage of this situation. I know they may be getting on your nerves and, you know, it kind of broke your routine up. But you know what? Cherish those times with your loved ones, with your family. Number three, focus on your fitness. That means you have to stay healthy. And so one of the things we are practicing is, is social distancing, making sure you don't get sick or making sure you're not around people who might have been exposed to the coronavirus. Just be careful, use wisdom and take care of yourself. Eat right and uh, work out at home. And with all those snacks, you know, that we've been buying from stores and all the things we've been storing up, make sure you don't overeat. All right. All right. The last one is one of my favorite ones. Focus on your finances. And so during these uncertain times, a lot of things are going on. The stock market has gone down a lot. I mean, it's down like 30, 35 percent. And so if there was a major department store that you loved and they were having a 35 percent sale, you would beat it down there to buy some stuff on sale. Well, right now, uh, stocks and mutual funds, they're on sale. So I don't know about you, but I've been buying right now. I, I like to invest in index funds. So all I'm saying is, is wealthy people, and I work with many, many wealthy people over the last 25 years when I was an investment advisor before I became a pastor. And I can tell you one thing, when the economy experiences downturns, they run toward the market. Scared people and broke people run from the market. Hey, I read this quote on social media the other day. It said, rich people are buying stocks. Uh, poor people are buying toilet paper. I mean, we all need toilet paper, but I think the point that they were making is that there are some opportunities right now and you need to make sure you take advantage of them and don't run from them. All right, so let me give them to you again. Focus on your faith, focus on your family, focus on your fitness, and focus on your finances. Hey, God bless you. I'm praying for you and I'm telling you, we're gonna get through this thing and we're gonna be all right. God bless you, you hang in there. I'm praying for you.